Well, good morning. Today's Thursday, February the 4th. This is Wise Words from Waldo. When I spend any time meditating on what Christ has done for me, it usually causes me to ask myself, what have I done for him? And that's the thought behind this devotion, the story behind one of our hymns. In the early 1700s of Germany, there lived a young nobleman named Nicholas Ludwig van Zinzendorf. His father died when Nicholas was six weeks old. He was raised by three women, his mother, his aunt, and his grandmother, all of whom were devout Christians. When he graduated from the University of Wittenberg, he decided to take a tour of Europe. He was in the museum in Dusseldorf, and he stood before a painting by Domenico Fetti entitled, Behold the Man. It was a portrait of the thorn-crowned Christ gazing at the viewer. Beneath the painting were the words, I have done this for you. What have you done for me? It changed his life. He became one of the most influential preachers in Christian history. He initiated the great Moravian missionary movement that gave rise to global Protestant missions. A hundred and fifty years later, on June 10th, 1858, another young Christian visited the same museum. Frances was 17 years old. She sat down in front of the same portrait and began to study it. A few verses of a hymn came to her mind. She went home, she worked on them, and wrote a few more. But then she became discouraged. She didn't like what she had written, and so she tossed the document into the fire. Somehow, it fell out. She picked it up, put it off to the side. A few months later, she handed it to her father. He looked at it and wrote a tune for it. Today, we sing the exact same words she had jotted down, but we sing them to a different tune than her father wrote. So think about it. An artist paints a portrait. A young nobleman's life is changed. A young woman writes a song, and two different men write melodies for it. And while all that's pretty amazing to me, don't miss the point. All those lives were changed by a Savior who gave his all for them and his all for you. So what have you done for him? Now stop and think about that.